All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to go through how we can use the PWA Builder VS Code extension to take a React app that I started with Create React app um, and transform that into a PWA. Uh, so I, as you can see here, I already have the extension open. Um, to open the extension, you just come over here to the left side of VS Code and um, click the PWA Builder icon. Um, so at this point, we can now see the status of our application. Um, so we do have a web manifest, um, create react app, um, apps do come with a web manifest by default. Um, as you can see here, uh, there are some things missing that we could add, uh, if we wanted to, um, and you can click more info there to see, uh, to learn more about what that field is and how to add it. Um, so the first thing we need to do to make our, our app a, a true PWA is to, um, generate a service worker. Um, then our, our store ready checklist will only be missing the published web option, which we would do when we're ready to, uh, you know, take our PWA live. So to generate a service worker, um, all you need to do is just hit this button here that says generate a service worker. Um, it's then going to ask me, uh, do I want to do a basic or advanced service worker? Um, so the key difference here is uh, the basic is a good fit for most apps. Um, that's going to do uh, kind of the... Uh, default best practice things that you would want to have, such as pre-caching um, for your application so that it at least has a basic experience offline. Um, if you want more uh, full control over your service worker, so you're going to be adding code to it, that kind of thing, uh, your own code, I should say, um, then you would go with the advanced option. Um, for today, we're going to go with the basic option, so I'll just hit enter. As you can see here, this is then going to open up a terminal, um, just like with most of the other commands. Um, it's then going to install the Workbox CLI first. Um, so the Workbox uh, CLI is a, a CLI tool that um, runs Workbox, uh, which is a uh, basically jQuery for service workers. Um, it's a, a service worker library. Um, so uh, it's then going to run Workbox Wizard, and Workbox Wizard is going to ask us a few questions. Um, so first of all, what is the root of our web app? Um, so basically, which directory do we deploy? Uh, for most uh, standard Create React app apps, that's going to be public. Um, so we'll hit enter here. Um, it's then going to ask me what kind of assets would I like to cache. Um, so the uh, only one I'm going to not cache here is text files, as uh, that's not key to you know our app running offline. Um, and then I'll hit enter. And then it's going to ask us where we'd like our service worker file to be saved. Um, this is up to you as a developer. Um, I would recommend with a Create React app app, putting it in uh, the default uh, directory that it puts here, public slash sw.js. But um, depending on, you know, the build system of your uh, of your uh, framework that you're working with, um, uh, you know, that path may be different. I would recommend checking out the uh, docs for your relevant framework at that point. Um, so for this React application, I'll hit enter. It's then going to ask us where we would like to save our configuration options. Um, and in this case, we're just going to save it in the root and a config file for Workbox. So I'll hit enter on that too. Um, and then finally, the last question it'll ask is if we have any special search parameters in our, in our start URL. Um, for this application, we do not. So I'll, I'll uh, choose no. All right. So this is now going to generate our service worker. Um, and as you can see, uh, it generated the files that we need there. Um, we also have a handy link over here to open up the documentation for Workbox, which I definitely recommend doing, especially with an application like React, um, as you uh, will most likely need to add a command uh, to the uh, the build script. And then, as you can also see here, it opened up the uh, our index.html and added in the register script for that service worker. Um, so I can just save this file now. And then if we go over here, and click refresh, you'll see we now have our service worker um, and it handles caching and is registered. And down here in the store ready checklist, you can now see that we both have a service worker and manifest. Um, so at this point, you now have a React uh, PWA that is uh, ready to go. Um, yeah, and that was create or that was converting a React app to a PWA using the PWA Butter VS Code extension.